What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector. And what we're going to look at today is a trigger, which is when an email arrives and mentions me. So one of the most commonplace things that has happened over the last couple of years is the whole idea of at mentioning. So you can take the idea from Twitter in sort of um, when you're messaging a certain person, but Microsoft have taken that idea and they've used it with things like Microsoft Teams as well as Outlook. So what you can do is you can type an email, you can hit the at symbol and then start typing the name of someone. It's going to get their name, it's going to put their name in the to address of the email. And also it gives you a kind of visual reference of someone mentioning someone else. So it's kind of a really easy way to sort of go, right, okay, I need these actions doing at Matt. Um, can you do these actions? And as they say at Matt, I get added to the email chain as well. So let's take a look at this today. So I'm in Power Automate and I've got my connectors here and the one I'm going to click on is the Office 365 Outlook connector. Then I'll scroll down until we get to when a new email mention, mentioning me arrives v3. This is the one we're going to use. The first thing it's going to ask me for is the folder. So the folder it wants to look in. So again, with all of these triggers that we've looked at so far, we can actually specify the folder that this email is going to trigger from. So if we have separate folders where we're filtering things out and filtering things to other folders, we can get it to run just on those folders and not on everything else. So in this instance, I'm just going to choose my inbox. If I click on show advanced options, again, I get all of these filters. So again, a lot like the other videos I've covered, um, these filters allow you to only trigger this flow if, if the filter returns true or the filter contains the right uh, matching criteria. So in this instance, to CC, to or CC and from, these are all the people in the email. Um, so the to is the, who are you sending this to? So you may not want to do this if it's just, um, you know, if the recipient equals you, you may want to do this if the recipient equals like a certain email address, or maybe you want to do this if the recipient equals two, um, but, uh, you know, you know, some, some combination of all these things. So two allows you to specify, it'll only trigger when uh, the matching email address of a two is in there. And again, you can separate these by semicolons as well. And if any match, the, tri uh, the trigger will run. Same for CC, if an email address is in the CC and you want to trigger this flow to say maybe your, e maybe your boss is in the CC, uh, you want to trigger this to do something, we can specify that as well. Um, to or CC, so use either of them. The from is the person that is sending this, so um, if an email is coming from a certain person, so maybe it's coming from the CEO of your business, and you want to go, oh, I need to make some, uh, some quick changes or, or something important, or I need to flag that up and send me a message, then absolutely you can, you can do that using this. Uh, include attachments, so you can get this to trigger whether it, it, it contains an attachment or not. Um, so if this is set to no, it's not going to trigger if there is uh, no attachments. If you set this to yes, then when this uh, when email comes in with attachments, it's going to trigger the flow. Uh, we have a subject filter. So the subject filter allows you to um, like only trigger this based on certain keywords inside a subject uh, in the subject line. So you can put that in there. Um, we can trigger this based on importance. If you get a high importance email, you could do something with that. So you know, if you get a high importance email, maybe from a certain person, then trigger a flow to then do something else. Um, else, you know, you can keep this as any. And only with attachments means that this will this flow will only trigger if there are attachments. So if the rest of the criteria does equal true, uh, but it doesn't have attachments, then we can, uh, or, you know, when it does have attachments, then we can trigger this. So if you specify only with attachments, then if everything else is true and it has attachments, it'll trigger. If it doesn't have attachments, it won't trigger. Um, so that's that. Um, and then we can add a new step. And for this, we're just going to add a compose action. And we're just going to get a few pieces of direct content. So we'll get the from, we'll get maybe the to, uh, we'll get, uh, nope, that's me copying and pasting stuff. Uh, we'll get the subject, and that's all we'll get. And then we'll test this out. So we'll click on test, and I'll perform trigger action. And that will start running in a moment when it's had to think about it. There we go. 
So that's now triggering, and that's now running, and it's waiting for a trigger. So if I come into my Outlook, um, Outlook web here, I can click on new message, um, and instead of putting a two in there, I can put a power uh, automate trigger test, and then I can say hi uh, at Matt, and then we can choose the Matt Collins Journal, uh, the Matt Collins Tech Services Group. As we say that, that goes into the, the two address at the top. So that's a really important detail. So that's that's what that does. Um, here is the email you requested. Thanks, Matt. So I can hit send on this. And now that I've hit send on this, that is going to send me the email. So that's just come in as you can see here. We can see that I am at mentioned in this email. As I hover over it, you can see it kind of like changes color a little bit to say that I'm at mentioned and that email has gone to me. So if I go back to my run history now, we can see the flow has run successfully. We can see it was sent by me to me and this is the subject line that we put in. So this allows you to, you know, maybe do something based on those ads. So if someone is adding me in an email, I probably need to be aware of it or I probably need to do some action. So what I could do is I could say, okay, when that email comes in, I could create a you know a notification. I could you know notification on my phone, or I could create a um, you know a board in my planner board, a card in my planner board. So there's loads of different things that you can do with this. I I find it really interesting that Microsoft have built in this ability to trigger emails, uh, trigger a flow based on that. That's actually a really cool idea. It's not something I thought about. Uh, but as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So what do you use this connector and this trigger for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.